Hello YouTube, at the request of one of my viewers I'm going to, going to make a live implementation of the uh, algorithm needed to compute uh, fractal images of the Mandel Mandelbrot fractal. Um, so I'm going to just rush this and hope it will turn out alright. So first thing I'm going to do is import a few things. Uh, I want the colors in the image to be a particular uh, shade. So from colors is uh, import uh, HSV to RGB because I knew, know a few things about fractals of this nature. Uh, I'm, I know the images can be pretty dark if the uh, depth is set too high. Uh, by game and from by game import everything. Uh, that's for actually outputting the images. So um, the first thing we're going to need is uh, the computation for the um, complex numbers. So def define computation of the complex number z. Uh, and there's a maximum depth associated with this. So um, compute z. Um, let's see. We need to know the iteration number per pixel per z. So i comma z zero is uh, z zero and zero. So i is the number of iterations. Z zero is the the starting point. And we know that that from while i smaller than uh, m, uh, we'll need to compute. So while there are still iterations to be uh, computed, and while z is within the Mandelbrot set, so that uh, that means um, let's see, uh, that the computation for this one is z zero times z zero plus z one times z one is smaller than two times two. So while the uh, while the um, orbit, while the, the, the radius is still smaller than 2. Um, compute these, uh, these z values. So we'll need two things for the z value. The complex number has to be squared. So uh, let's say z is a tuple. We will require the new z to be um, the squared value of its current uh, Value so z zero times z zero uh, minus z one mi times z one comma. If you remember complex uh, values being squared, you take uh, x and y, uh, y times the imaginary unit. So this is x squared times and a plus y squared. And I say plus because i squared is of course. The imaginary unit squared is of course uh, minus one. So these are the real parts, and here come the complex parts, which is uh, the middle term of the squared uh, of a squared value. That is two times a times b, where a and b are of course the real, real part and the imaginary part uh, one. So this is the the uh, complex number, and we'll add the z zero value to this. So uh, let's see, z plus z zero real part plus z zero imaginary part. Uh, I plus is one, and then we should return the z value. So this is for computing the color of a pixel. Now we need to feed this function some pixels and return the pixels to the image. So def mandel and what we need here is user input for the image. So first of all we need to know the size which is the width and the height and for what we want to display in this image um, we need to know the center and the x range and the y range. Let's just call that x and y. Uh, yeah, so this this is this is my regular way of pro doing things, programming. So the image is an empty array of uh, zeros for i in width and it 
it's zero for j in range five. So just declaring an empty array. Um, for oops, for i in range uh, x. No wait, for i in range w. For j in range uh, h. So for every pixel m uh, y uh, i and j is compute and we will need two things over here uh, we will need to put the number in and the max depth so we still need to know the max value max iterations compute the pixel and the pixel uh, uh, compute complex number and the complex number is of course the center minus the range uh, let's see uh, in two uh, plus the range times i over width yeah that's it and of course we do this, this for the, uh, the y value as well which is uh, to say h and j and y y and 1 1 the center value 1 um, so yeah th this is the um, the uh, color oh we need to um, not return z we need to value y over m because we will need values between 0 and 1 um, yeah that, that's the uh, mandel oh there's um, there's an optimization thingy going on here um, the image is symmetrical in, in, the, um, in the J range, so I'm going to just cut this number in half, add 1 for odd numbered uh, resolutions, and I'm just going to mirror these colors. Um, this is going to be H minus J plus 1. No, wait. Minus one, yeah. So this is uh, this is for mirroring the image in the vertical direction, cutting the computations in half. Yeah, that's 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 the correct. I think we'll see. Um, let's see. That's the. Um, I will re need to return the image. Now to actually export the image, def export. Uh, this will take an image and a file name and for let's let's call a surface first uh, surface is a pi game point surface uh, this thing needs a size so this is um, let's I, I forgot if it takes this or this uh, a size that that's all it takes and this is the length of the image comma uh, the length of the image zero so th that's the height um aspend fill i just need it to be black or an initial color this is black uh, well, for every pixel in the image, uh, for every pixel in the image, uh, we will need to compute a color. Damn it! Call is. Let's do something. Oh yeah, uh, this is where I need the HSV to RGB, uh, which is. Um, uh, let's say HSP to RGB because I like the color transition using this function, which is um, M I J comma one comma one. So this is just uh, a satur saturated color. Now this will return a color with values between zero and one. So I need to sc uh, scale this. Uh, scale color uh, two fifty five. Comma 
the color there. Now this function is not yet present, so we need the um, uh, SCC is lambda uh, of a scale value and a color, and we need it to return. Uh, let's see, s times c zero, comma s times c one, comma s times c two. Of course, this can be made more efficient. So the color is now determined. We need to set the color to the surface as point set at uh, i comma j. Comma call, and then we need to save the image to the file name, and that's it. So that, that's that's the entire thing. Now there's a lot of uh, imp lots of uh, improvements to be made. I won't expand upon. Uh, let's just render an image. So um, first thing. We need an image, Mondo. The arguments here are um, the width and the height, 320 times 240. Uh, the center, which is uh, minus 1, comma 1, uh, 0. I just happen to know this. This might be a good value. The x range is uh, 3. The y range is 2, and the max depth is 25. Not 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 a really high number. Uh, export the image to uh, let's say fractal point P and P and G. Now let's see. Yeah, it dies. Uh, Z zero. And there we go. And this is the resulting fractal. So. Um, let's see, I can render it in another color, just for your entertainment purposes. Uh, and I'm not going to use this color, I'm going to use a different color, just black and white will do. So 255, comma, uh, times image ij. This will render it black and white. To insert commas more often. The image. There we go. So that's the uh, that's the Mandelbrot fractal. Not a really um, challenging uh, implementation, but there's a lot of improvement room for improvement. So uh, have fun with that. Free source code, of course. So um, yeah, I hope this uh, the viewer who requested this video likes it and. I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.